Hi everyone! So METV debuted just a few days ago and when it did I did my due diligence and I invited my friends and my family to subscribe. But then I ran into an unexpected problem. Even though over 800 million people use YouTube monthly, most of them use it simply as a search engine tool and have never found the need to subscribe to a channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to utilize YouTube a little more in depth so that aside from loving my free marketing advice and my consumer reviews, you'll be able to make the most out of your YouTube experience. So why should you start your own channel with a username? Well, for starters, you'll be able to like or dislike a video. You'll also be able to comment or ask questions on a video, which you'll need to learn how to do for our upcoming video marketing series. Another benefit is that you'll be able to save your research. So let's say that you are searching for different ways to treat all the different wood surfaces in your home. Now you'll be able to create a playlist with all those videos that you found the most useful. And now that you have your own channel, you'll also be able to start loading your own videos. So you'll be able to start journaling the life of your children growing up. And you can make those videos private so that only people that you invite can see them. Or you can make them public for the whole world to see. Even better, you'll be able to start loading your own business videos, which is a must because all research now says that websites that host videos gain a significant SEO advantage. Finally, as many of you in the YouTube community already know, there are tons of channels that host giveaways and contests. And most of the time, all that you have to do to win a giveaway or a contest is to subscribe to a channel or comment on that video. So without further ado, let me show you how easy it is to maximize your YouTube experience simply by creating your own username and your own okay, channel. So like we discussed, we're going to go over some pretty basic information on YouTube. The first thing you're going to do is go to YouTube.com and then you're going to click on this blue button up in the upper corner that says sign in. If you already have a Gmail account, you can sign in right here. But if you don't, you're going to have to create a Gmail account. Why? Because Google bought out YouTube and YouTube is now under the Google umbrella. So to be able to do all the things that we discussed like create a playlist or upload your own video, you're going to have to create a Gmail account. So click on the create an account button and it'll take you to this form right here that you'll fill out. So let's pretend that you've already done that and you're ready to sign in. Once I've done that, I'm going to do a quick search for my channel. And there it is. And once I'm there, I'm going to find a video that I would like to comment on. Now at this point, I can subscribe to a channel or I can unsubscribe from a channel. But I'm going to try to leave a comment but I can't because I don't yet have my username or channel. So it'll take you to this screen and you'll be able to edit your name as it'll appear on the screen. You can use your business name, but for now, let's just continue. And now, guess what? You can leave a comment. simple as that. The other thing that you can do that we talked about is create a playlist. Now we talked about how to treat wood surfaces in our home. So I'm gonna click on this video that I found. It's got all the information that I want and need. So I'm gonna come down here and where it says share, I can share it on Facebook or Twitter, but I can also add it to a playlist. And it's as simple as clicking on add to, um, 
w create a playlist. I can name it Wood Treatment Research. I can make it public or I can make it private so that only I can see it. Create my list and there it is. It's that simple. Now the last thing I want to discuss very quickly is going back to the channel and that video Let's click on it not only can you leave a comment but you can upload a video response just click on the button that says upload, uh, create a video response and I haven't uploaded anything yet I can do it by uploading a video right here and it's then like uploading any other file in any other program that you're probably used to doing by now you find the video that you want to upload and you click on upload and there you go, it'll start uploading for you. So now that you see how simple this is, I challenge you to create your own account and channel and of course subscribe to METV. Then I would love it if you would create your own video and post it right here on this video as a response comment. You can make your video a hello to METV or a request for a future video that you'd like to see or even better, your own business video where you talk, where you give us your name, your company name, your website, and what you do. So good luck and I'll see you in your next video.